Hi there, let's look at a case of congruency. If you remember, congruency means that two triangles fall exactly on top of each other because they are the same size and the same shape. We use the symbol of three horizontal lines and equal sign with an extra to say exactly equal. And congruency is part of triangles. We'll be looking at congruency in triangles only. And we have other information as well, which is part of Euclidean geometry. So we've previously looked at the four cases of congruency, but we want to hone in and focus on side angle side in this short video. So let's get started. We want to know if the two triangles presented in the picture coming up soon are congruent or not, and if they are, what is the case? So we are given in our picture that C bisects, do you remember what that word means? AD and BE. So what are we given? Bisects means cut in half. So C cuts in half AD. In other words, AC and CD are equal. Let's mark that off and write that down. Also, C bisects BE. Cuts it in half and they are equal. So we show that on the picture and we put it in writing. This is just my thought process going on here. I will write everything up properly in a bit. Okay, I might need prior ge geometry knowledge because I can't see anything else. I don't know if AB and ED are equal, but I do see that they are straight lines because they've said AD and BE, and these two angles over here must be equal because they are vertically opposite angles. So let's write that down. Now I see that I've got two sides in an angle, so I have to ask, is it the included angle? Is it the angle between the sides? CD and CE, yes, C2 is the angle where those two sides meet. AC and BC, yes, C1 is where those two sides meet, so it is the included angle. So possibly we can say the triangles are congruent. Let's try and write it up to show it is true. So we have a statement and a reason, and we start off with an introduction in triangle ABC and triangle DEC. The first fact that we know is that AC and DC are equal because they told us that C bisects AD. Similarly, we know that BC and CE are equal because C bisects BE. And we know that C1 and C2 are equal because they are vertically opposite angles. We check because we've got two sides in an angle that it is the included angle so that we can say the two triangles are congruent because of side angle side. Let's have a look at another exercise. I want you to tell me whether these two triangles are congruent or not. And if they are, give the case. They're telling us that AB and CD are equal. Let's mark that off. And they're telling us that A1 and C2 are equal. Let's mark that off. Do you have any prior geometry that you can use as well? Because so far, I've got one side and one angle. I'm not sure about other angles. We don't know if the lines are parallel, so we can't say that they are equal. Yes, they are alternate, but we don't know if they're equal. And we don't know anything about B and D. But I have a common side, which I'm always on the lookout for, of AC. Let's mark that off. So is that enough to say congruence? Well, is it the included angle? Is A1 between the two sides that they've talked about? And it doesn't look like it. It also doesn't look like C2 is between the two sides we've talked about. Yes, AC, but no, not BC, AB. If we pull the triangle out and have a look at it, this is the angle that we've been given. Is it the included angle? No. The included angle is actually A2, which we know nothing about. So the triangles are not congruent. Let's explain why we can't just assume if it's not the included angle. Here I have triangle ABC, not the included angle if we're talking about AB and AC. Let's pull that out. Now, suppose I take AC and I measure it exactly the same on that side over there and call it AD. So it's the same length. All right. I've got triangle ABD now. Let's pull it out. 
Do you see they both have an angle that's equal, a side that's equal, and another side that's equal? But because it is not the included angle, you can clearly see these two triangles are not congruent. So that's why you have to check.